Ladies and gentlemen, we will shortly be making our descent into Toronto. Please make sure your seats and tray tables are in their upright and locked position and that any baggage is stowed safely underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead compartments. Thank you. Just like your hairline, your dreams are fading fast. Those dreams you had of becoming an actor, writer, dancer, and Broadway star are fading away. Welcome to the rest of your pathetic and unfulfilling life, you fucking coward. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We're going through some bumpy air at the moment. Please return to your seats and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. Sorry. <clears throat> Did I ever tell you in grade one my teacher called me stupid? Yeah. It was French class and she asked us to hold up in crayon. So I remember I grabbed my, my red crayon and I lifted it up to the sky. And I remembered feeling so a part of the class, like it was a, a team effort. Everybody doing the same thing at the same time. I didn't even realize I was holding up the wrong thing until she grabbed it out of my hand. By the way, in crayon was actually a pencil. She took it in, she walked to the middle of the class and she asked everybody if what she was holding was in crayon. And everybody was like, no! That was the first time I remember feeling like I just didn't fit in. It's like she was telling everybody I didn't belong there because I was the stupid kid in the class holding a red crayon in a classroom for pencils. Babe, is this about the new job? How many times are you gonna do this? I know. Stop doubting yourself, okay? Yes. Remember when you refused to eat seaweed salad because the texture made you gag? <laughs> well. Now it's the first thing you ask for every time we go for sushi. Well, it, it, it aids digestion, releases endorphins, and, and increases metabolism. Who doesn't want that? Babe, you have to start now if you want any chance of being a top 30 under 30. I know, I know. I, I believe in you. What's going on with you? No, it's, it's, you know, I start the new job next week, and then I turn 25 next month. Something doesn't feel good. Something doesn't feel right. Like, I feel like I'm about to regret the rest of my life. You'll regret being with me? No. I mean my, my professional life. Role play, let's go. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I've had to listen to you whine, so we're gonna play my game. Now, tell me about yourself. Okay, I'll start. Hi, my name is Brett Smith. I'm a student and soon to be graduate of the University of Toronto Law School with honors. Then I will work for my father's firm, Smith and McKinley, as partner. Then I'll buy my gorgeous, successful art director boyfriend, a penthouse in Greece, where we'll spend the winters luxuriously in the sun. Now tell me about you. Hi, I'm Alexander Schwartz. Hello, Alexander Schwartz. It's a handsome chap like yourself, dude. Well, Next week, I will be starting my new job at the Red Carp Ad Agency as a junior art director, where any creativity I have is diluted to fit commercial standards. Wow. <laughs> Can't wait to buy everything from you. You sound very fun. <laughs> Take it seriously. Okay. Hi. My name is Alexander Schwartz, actor, writer, director. I live in a small place in Cabbage Town, down the street from my favorite sushi shop, where I spend my days eating salad, seaweed salad, and writing 
luxuriously. And what training or experience do you have? I was in a McDonald's commercial eight years ago. What if I screw up and I get fired and I have to move back to my parents' basement and then apply for another job and realize that my Listen, portfolio... listen. I love you, Dinky. But please try to stay positive. You know how I feel about negativity. Makes me break out. Look, I can already feel this zit coming right there. Right <laughs> Alex, you graduated from one of the top art direction programs in Canada. You did that all on your own. And don't you feel proud of that? My parents were so happy you got that job. They opened their bottle of Chateau Le Tour Pauliac. Ooh. Babe, that's a $900 bottle of wine. Fine. I am going to be complaining to you every no, single you day. No, you won't. That's what Darcy's for. You call her and complain all you okay. want. Okay. And when you do screw up, just... I mean, God knows that pretty face will get you through anything. Well, this doesn't feel normal. Are we going down? We're going down. Hold my hand. What? Hold my fucking hand. I don't want to die. I'm too young and hot. Fuck. Oh God. 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 Holy shit. Oh. What a rush. Sorry, babe. Oh. Why do you think I'm gonna screw up? I never said that. No, but you meant it. What? You said when you screw up. Why do you think I'm gonna screw babe, up? Babe, I just meant it's your first real Stop job. calling me babe. One second. Answer me, why do you think I'm gonna screw up? I mean, honestly, uh, you kept switching the name of the Trevi Fountain with the name of our hostel. Oh my God. It's like one of the most famous landmarks in the world. Fine, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna screw everything else. I know, because I won't let you. What do you mean you won't let me? Look, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not perfect. I know I can be an arrogant jackass sometimes, and, and you let me know every time. But you make me a better person for that. And I think I make you a better person too. That's why we work well, babe. You're my lobster. Okay, but I know I'm not good at explaining stuff, but do you know that that metaphor or something with the, the fish in the tree? Like if, if you if you ask a fish to climb a tree, it'll spend its entire life thinking that it's stupid. I am the fish. The fish is is the crayon. What are you talking I'm about? I'm saying, I'm, look, I've expressed to you multiple times over the years my interest of being in the arts and being an actor, and every single time I allow you to talk me out of it because because I know that you will believe me. I don't want that. Look at me. Can you just have my back here for one second? Just, just put your goddamn preordained life aside. Please. The reason most people give up on following their dreams is because they have a sense of reality. They're, they're being smart adults who get attainable jobs that are realistic. That's what you have to do. What about those people that against all odds went for it and you know made what? it? Can you imagine what my parents would say? I mean, it was hard enough telling them I was gay. I mean, uh, no, what, what would they say if I told them that my, my, my boyfriend is a wannabe thespian?
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Toronto Pearson International Airport. Local time is 5.13 p.m. and the temperature is 15 degrees. Please remain in your seats with your seatbelts fastened until the pilot turns off the sign. Thank you. At this time, you may feel a slight anxiety or discomfort as you've just derailed the structure of your life. Please check around your seat for any personal belongings, including ex-boyfriends and emotional baggage. We encourage you to leave this shit behind. Just not your camera, that was very expensive. If you require any assistance, please know your family and friends are ready to help. Try and enjoy yourself. Mazel tov.